Mark, uh, we are now in the faculty library of uh, architectural sciences at the uh, Eindhoven University of Technology and uh, you are the faculty librarian. Can you tell in a few words why an academic librarian or more generally an academic library should care about open access? Well, developing and maintaining a good collection both in print form as well as in electronic form is obviously one of our priorities yeah, as an yeah. academic library. Yeah. And as budgets, you know, library budgets come out increasingly under pressure, we, uh, the open access movement, as I call it, uh, is a very uh, attractive way of reducing those costs yeah. as, uh, while maintaining an adequate distribution of academic and scholarly information. Marek, uh, you mentioned uh, the repository of, uh, of this uh, university. Can you tell us a little bit more about the uh, repository, about that uh, repository? Well, to get back to my point of view, in the light of the urgent budget crunch, it's very important that university libraries explore other ways of publishing. And yeah. uh, the university repository is one of the ways of distributing scholarly uh, communication at a lower cost than the current conventional means. Yes. So it's in the interests of university libraries to manage uh, their university repositories. And that's basically what we do here in Eindhoven, our library manages uh, the process and the storage of the uh, repository of scholarly research here. Okay. Mario, thank you for this con uh, conservation. You're welcome.